your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey Mikey, I think he likes it. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the show. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys, and yeah, here we are. We're going to unbox some turtles, man. <laughs> We're going to take the turtles out of their aquarium, out of their plastic aquarium. Um, why is it so hard for me to say aquarium? Aquarium? Aquarium. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any of your time. As you guys see, we have all my other animated Ninja Turtle stuff back here. I've mostly been sticking to um, the main characters. All the other characters, man, they are so amazing. They are so great, bro. It's just they're so freaking expensive, and there's so many of them, and NECA is just popping out so many of them. I might eventually in the future, when I have more room, I might end up picking up the entire Ninja Turtle lineup. Uh, of course, I've had a few. I've reviewed a few of the... Um, side characters of Ninja Turtles, and then um, some of them just kind of, I, I sold some of them off because I wanted to stick to the main characters because I don't have that many, much room, actually. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and cut open the box, guys. And if you guys saw, I saw this at Target. It was part of the hall -a -thon that NECA has going on, which is pretty awesome. So I missed, I missed these Ninja Turtles the first time around. Let's take them out. There is the sewer in which they dwell in. There is the Ninja Turtles, man. Look at that, bro. Oh my gosh, this brings back so many memories. You know, when I, because I, when I, when I was younger, I used to have the Playmates. Actually, I used to have all of the Playmate uh, Ninja Turtles, and so yeah, it's pretty awesome to see them out of package, man. I like this. I like it a lot. Really dope. I don't know why they gave Mikey two open mouths. They gave Leo two smiling faces, and then they gave Raph and Don one open mouth and one smiley face. Okay, guys, um, let's go ahead, jump forward, and take these guys out of package. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and leave uh, the accessories in the package because, you guys, what's the point? There's so many of them. We'll just go through them real quick. You you guys already know the gist of the Ninja Turtles. Leonardo comes with the swords, Donatello with his staff, Raph with his size, and then Mikey with his nunchucks. We'll leave the interchangeable heads in there because I'm not going to switch them out. There's no point. And all the other accessories, too, comes with a turtle com right there, a couple of turtle coms. Right there, slice the pizza, then pizza on the boxes, and then you got all these freaking inter interchangeable hands, which I'm not going to use. Then you have the canister of the ooze, and then more interchangeable hands with some more uh, turtle comms uh, as well. So we'll put that to the side because I don't want to make this a long review because we're here for the stars of the show, and we're going to take a look at the Ninja Turtles, and there's... Uh, Mikey's nunchucks when he's spinning it around. So let's take a look at the turtles themselves. Looking magnificent, guys. So here is Mikey. Let me go ahead and bring my camera down. And essentially, they're just kind of, you know, if you know NECA and you know how they market and how they design uh, turtles, essentially, they're just kind of all <laughs> the same, the same body, same head, just different colors. And then, of course, you put the M with the uh, put the M on, on the belt for Mikey, then the R for Raph, and so on and so forth. Um, that's one thing I, I kind of hate about NECA is, listen, it saves them a lot of money because they can package these turtles for like $150 and put the accessories uh, with them as well and just repaint them. You know what I mean? I kind of wish that they would do like the Ninja Turtles, different sizes and different colors, you know what I mean? Kind of how they were in the movies. 
uh, kind of, well, in the cartoons, they kind of look the same, you know what I mean? But if you look at, like, the recent movies, the Michael Bay Ninja Turtles, they were all different sizes, different scopes. They all had their different things, you know what I mean? Where with the Ninja Turtles, you know, whether it be the old movie or the cartoons, it's very easy for NECA to reproduce these figures. And because they're different colors, they're different colors. And, yeah, so creating the repaint and making a huge profit is is pretty is well that's their thing <laughs> so if you can save money on it why not i guess right so here's the ninja turtles let's just try to get them to stand and that's one thing too also is they don't provide us with any stands that's really dumb i hate that i hate that they do that i hate let me bring my camera down just a little bit because they are small guys and they don't provide us with any freaking stands for these Ninja Turtles, man. That's one thing that's really, really sucks about uh, these figures. They provide us with all these accessories and all this crap. And and yet, they don't give us any freaking stands. And as you guys can see, with, uh, with the exception of Raph, let's see, Mikey stands. Yeah, you just have to get them the... But yeah, even then, see? So yeah, that's one thing I dislike about NECA is he doesn't provide us any stands. And with these NECA toys, you guys know that these are hard to stand. Best way to get them to stand is to have them put, put the feet inward. But even then, see? They have a hard time standing. There we go. So, yeah, you just put them. Yep. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> okay, so let's take a closer look at... <laughs> see? They're, they're like dominoes. So let's take a look, closer look at the Ninja Turtles. Then we'll do some comparisons. And then I'll give you my rating on these Ninja Turtles. So as far as articulation is concerned, head movements. Uh, as you guys see, it's on a neck ball joint right there. Um, And, yeah, and he's on also... Uh, head swivel as well. So yeah, there's two points of articulation neck head movements The face is done really nice The tongue really nice arms. Let's try to get them to move. Yep. They do move upwards Upwards Let's see. Does he have any bend? Yeah, he does have bend at the elbow and then uh, somewhat double jointed uh, knees. It's kind of hindered by his uh, his uh, knee pad right there. Very nice ankle articulation. As he does have break at the bicep right there. Really dope. Really like that a lot. It's a great figure, man. Great, great figures. We're just going to go through one of the articulation for the turtles because essentially, like I said, they're repaints and they're essentially all the same. So there's Raph. Try to get him to stand. There's Mikey. Give you guys a close-up of Mikey. There's the turtle show. Yeah, and here's another thing that also I kind of dislike as well is, look, there's no... Remember back in the day, they used to have holsters for their weapons? Nothing. Nothing for their holsters, for their belts. Yeah, that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame, NECA. There's Mikey. And all and all of them are like that. Remember, you used to have, like, oh, there's one right there. You can put the uh, his staff in the back right there. So there's one for Donatello. Let's see, does Raph have that? No, Raph doesn't have that. What about Leo? Let's check out Leo. And yeah, Leo has that for his swords, but uh, Mikey doesn't have it for his nunchucks and Raph doesn't have it for his size. That kind of sucks, guys. That kind of really, really sucks. So they they missed with Raph and, and, and Mikey. Head movement, if you guys are curious to see. Oh yeah, his the bandanas do move as well. They are articulated. I like that. Great paint apps, clean paint apps as always. NECA just, they just kill it, man. 
really awesome so if you're wondering these guys are pretty small i don't remember these guys being if you guys can tell me if you guys collect if you uh, the other ninja turtles that came out um uh, before this you know were they this size were they this small i can't remember um measurement wise they stand at about five and a half inches tall uh so i'm gonna break out some other turtles we're gonna do some comparisons as well um and also let's uh but first let's do some comparisons with some bad guys in the back uh, I told you this video, I'm trying to make it as short as possible. That's one of the main reasons why I didn't want to take a look at all the damn accessories. Um, because we're going to do a lot of comparisons. So here they are. Well, here he is with Rocksteady. And measures up nicely with Rocksteady. Rocksteady right there. How about Bebop? Bebop. These Bebop and Rocksteady, two of my favorite, favorite action figures in my entire collection. That's how he measures up with Rocksteady. Or no, Bebop, excuse me. <laughs> Bebop, Bebop and Rocksteady. You know what era this is from, Bebop and Rocksteady. Um, let me get the Ninja Turtles. This is how they measure up with Krang. Baby Shredder. <laughs> Baby Shredder. How about Baxter? That's how he measures up with Baxter, or they measure up with Baxter. Um, Crane? So yeah, I think they are a good size, you know what I mean? Uh, one of the foot soldiers. Splinter. So yeah, yeah, Splinter, yeah, okay. I can kind of see it, Splinter. So yeah, maybe they are kind of the uh, good size, proportionately wise. Casey Jones. And then Shredder, and then we'll break out some other Ninja Turtles. So that's how they measure up with Shredder, Donatello, Donatello and Shredder. Leave your comments below, guys. What is your, who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Leo, Raph, Mikey, Donatello. Really like this. Really like this Shredder. Awesome Shredder. Okay, guys, let's break out some other Ninja Turtles. We'll do some more comparisons. All right, ladies and gents. So here are the Ninja Turtles next to the other uh, NECA Ninja Turtles. This is from... Uh, what was it? The Batman versus Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles versus Batman. Um, these Ninja Turtles came with Batman figures, of course, Alfred, Batman, Robin, and I do believe who else was it? Was it Shredder? Um, these were these were two packs. But see, this is what I see. This is what I mean right here is the Ninja Turtles. Neca didn't really skip out on these because. These are different turtles. These, this is how the Ninja Turtles are actually supposed to be. You know, Raph is freaking huge. Leo is like the biggest and, you know, a little bit more thicker. Donatello is a little bit more leaner, kind of has like a beer belly. And then Mikey's the smallest right there. So, yeah, that's kind of how I like my Ninja Turtles, even though these Ninja Turtles are pretty damn cool. Uh, let's do some more comparisons. Okay, here are some figures, some of my favorite figures in my entire collection, bro. Uh, here are uh, the movie Ninja Turtles, and you can see the size comparisons right there. Um, yeah, I love, I love these Ninja Turtles, man. I mean, if you guys, even if you guys are not fans of Ninja Turtles, I think you guys have to have these in your collection just to appreciate them because they're some of the best action figures ever made, in my opinion. They're flawless. They are flawless. They are right out of the movie. They don't get any more movie accurate than this right here in front of you. So if you're wondering about the size of these Ninja Turtles, let's see. Mikey stands about under six and a half inches, and these guys are like five and a half inches, right? So just to do like a little comparison, here he is with Mikey, the animated. Then here he is with the movie version. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit. So you have what? What did I say? Five and a half inches. And then you have six inches right there. 
And if you guys didn't see any of these reviews, check them out. They are on my NECA playlist. Really dope. Really love these Ninja Turtles. Um, okay, let me give you my final thoughts um, about these Ninja Turtles. Okay, guys. So, let me give you my rating. So, I'm not going to really hold uh, the whole repaint size scheme, you know, against NECA. Because, essentially, this is kind of how they were in the animated cartoon. They were essentially all... They all looked the same. They all had their own... They, except, they all... You know, were the same color. I think they were all the same color, right? So yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, pull that against NECA. They did a great job. They always do a great job. Uh, I'm very happy to have these Ninja Turtles um, in my collection. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, so let me give you my rating, just based on. I'm just gonna rate all these four together because they came in a four pack, and essentially they are the same damn sculpt you know of course different characters so i think this ninja turtles i really like i'm gonna give this maybe like the 8.6 out of 10 really really great figures definitely recommend them um are they my favorite from this lineup oh man that's a tough one from the animated series i do like the shredder a lot the shredder is awesome bro uh if you guys are toy collectors the shredder is really awesome um, love this shredder right here. And of course the Bebop and Rocksteady. I think, I think out of this entire line, I think the Bebop and Rocksteady are my favorites from this line. Um, Bebop and Rocksteady, maybe the Ninja, uh, maybe Shredder. And then I think the Ninja Turtles will take third place in this lineup. That's kind of how I feel. That's kind of how I feel. I just think the sculpt is better. The paint is better with Bebop and Rocksteady. And same thing with Shredder. Even though I do love these Ninja Turtles, I think Ninja Turtles may be Shredder. I think Shredder has a slight advantage, but I do like these Ninja Turtles a lot, man. Um, really great, really great figures. If you can find them, I would suggest picking them up. They are a little pricey, a little pricey. Over the $100 mark, is it worth it? Well, for those who didn't, you know, get the Ninja Turtles, you know, when they first came out, um, yeah, I think it's definitely a pickup like myself, you know, when they first came out, who missed out on that boat, who seldom saw the, these guys in stores. Um, actually, I, I don't actually, I don't think I ever seen these guys in stores. I remember seeing one of them in a two pack, you know, with, uh, other animated figures. So yeah, it's, I say it's definitely a pickup, you know, for those who missed out the first time, like myself, it's an awesome, awesome uh, awesome figures guys and let me know if you guys have the original turtles are they any different than this right here the new releases in the four pack let me know your let me know your thoughts guys i know the accessories are different as well um but let me know your thoughts in the comment section <laughs> we'll go ahead and leave it at that hopefully i didn't spend too much time i wanted to make this review as short as possible hopefully you guys enjoyed this review if you did Give me a like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that great stuff. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next review. And I try not to cuss in this video as well because it's Ninja Turtle. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.